So Michelle, I know you from being my daughter's fantastic middle school teacher and um, being you know, active in the community, both you and your sister, your whole family. As you know, I'm asking everybody the same question and I would love to ask you, Michelle, what does it mean from your perspective to be a woman? Well, I want to start by saying I was very lucky to be your daughter's teacher. So thank you for that. Um, you know, I thought a lot about this question in regards to things that I'm going through in my life. And I think as a, as a girl growing up, I definitely, as we are all kind of shown, um, expected to grow up, get married, have a family. And that was always the trajectory. But then of course you grow up and you realize that girls have so many options. We can go to school, we can get any job we want. Motherhood's not always something that everybody chooses. Uh, and I think that we're really fortunate to live in a time where uh, women can make those choices more freely. But the reality is that I still really want that path that I imagine for myself, which is to be a mom. And I've been struggling with that because of um, struggling with endometriosis and which has led to infertility. And so now I'm on that track to get help with my infertility through IVF and you know, I saw this path for myself. I've been taught and encouraged to not worry about that, right? So I don't feel any pressure from anybody. You know, my parents never pressured me to have kids. It's not like my friends are sitting there telling me to do it, but it's something I really want and I can't get it. And that is what's really frustrating to me is um, not being able to let go of that desire. With my um, struggles with endometriosis, I learned to speak out more about women's health issues. I mean, as a kid talking about menstruation, never, I never would have done it. Uh, I was very shy, reserved, which is part of the issue is that I never talked about like symptoms I was experiencing. And it wasn't until I was in the ER at 30 that I finally started to get answers to, you know, I talked to my doctor a lot about stuff like I'm experiencing this and it was just always, you know, explained away. Oh, you need to lose weight. Oh, periods hurt. Um, it's just the way it is. And now that I've learned over the last 10 years about endometriosis and I've been an advocate for it, I've learned that it's not normal and it wasn't normal. And if I had just talked to more people about it and not just my doctor like once a year, that maybe I would have had answers sooner. It may not have changed much, but um, I think in the health, I know in the health industry, women with this condition are not always listened to. 